Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about, or we are doing a first impressions video on the Gerber Fast Draw. I saw this, figured it was going to be a good fidget knife, so I bought it. Go figure. We'll see what I think about it here pretty soon. Of course, this is not going to be something that I would everyday carry. Let's go ahead and get it out of there. You are free of your cardboard prison. There you go. They don't tell you what blade steel it is anywhere on this thing, so that's not great. But, uh... So here you go. It is spring-assisted. This is what locks it into place. You push that forward, pull it back, bam. It should be... ooh. Yeah, fidgety. One of these days I'll take this thing apart and figure out how it works, but first, for now, it feels a little tight in here. Okay. I'm sure it'll break in eventually. We'll get that all figured out. No complaints so far. I know it's not going to... It's it's fairly comfortable. It's a weird handle shape, but it's fairly comfortable. Um, you can close it one-handed. And actually, that, that spring isn't hard to fight against. I, I might carry this for a week. Now, the edge symmetry is not bad, actually. Am I going to not be disappointed? It's about the same on both sides. I'm I'm pretty impressed actually. That's Gerber's not known for good quality anymore. Deep carry pocket clip, not bad. There's a lot of screws in this thing though. And by the looks of it, they're all T6s too, so that's not great. It doesn't come out with much force. I mean, yeah, it, this is going to be a fun fidget toy. That's kind of all I wanted it for. I don't know what else to say. I what They just said it was high carbon steel on this thing. Yeah, high carbon stainless steel, so... Was this one? It's made in China, which means 7CR17 MOV most likely, which I guess people do call that high carbon steel. 0.7% carbon, 17% chromium, definitely a stainless. Yeah, this one's stone washed. I'm still breaking it in, so of course you guys watched me on unbox it so all of this is just to break it in so I can play with it this one was uh, 40 bucks I will I need to stop buying Gerber stuff like, they are overpriced for what you get 
Let's see. Not really left hand friendly. You can do it using your middle finger to pull that up, but it's not fun to do. You go like that. You can do it. It's not fun, though. Do I have any other complaints? I do. I do. This little tab, if they could find a way to make it go slightly further open. Oh, that is a weak lock. Okay. I just looked at it through the side or through the back. I don't know if it'll focus, but there's that little tiny bar that that right there is the only thing holding the blade in place. That's eh. I guess, I mean, I wouldn't trust it for my, with my life, but there's your first impression video. Um, not a whole lot to say about it. It's not left hand friendly. It's definitely fidgety. Spring isn't too strong. Decent steel. Not worth the money. If you can get it. Well, when I went to Sportsman's, they said that their cost was $30. At $30, I might consider actually buying it. And there you go. That's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to sit around and watch me fidget with it, maybe I'll do that on live stream or something. It's going to be all for today. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.